All right, what is going on, my dudes? We are back here today with another little toilet video for you. Been a minute since we made a toilet video. You know, the toilet videos, you watch them on the toilet. Not too long, not too important. Just a little short video for you while you're uh, doing your thing. All right, so as you can see here, we have a Cavalier Nexus Crystal, and there is a six star on the right. And unfortunately, it is not actually Bulbasaur. So I opened this up the other night. I was laying in bed and I got it from the $5 daily deal. I said, why the heck not, man? There's still a few skill champions I'm missing I would like to pull. And a champion that I've wanted for so long popped out of these crystals. One crystal, not these crystals, this crystal. And it was six star Gwenpool, dude. Now I previously didn't have her, but she certainly does need to be awakened. Now, at this point, right people are going to be like what gwenpool man why do you care about gwenpool anybody who follows my account knows that when it comes to champions i'm very much so nostalgic in a way emotional in a way i don't even know how to describe it right so when i saw those stars go from gold to silver i could not even help myself i jumped in and i took her up to rank two literally literally immediately man now, when it comes to skilled champions in MCOC, it's hard to even make the argument that Gwenpool is in the top 15 of her class anymore. In fact, I have exactly 15 rank 3s and rank 4s at this present moment, and I would say all of them are more useful than Gwenpool. We have Hitmonkey at rank 2 and a couple of useful rank 1 skill champions as well. However, Gwenpool's going to rank 3, and it's just something I've wanted to do for such a long time. And when I say such a long time, I'm waiting for level up, by the way, to get the ice on her. But when I say such a long time, I mean like Gwenpool was one of my first four stars that I used early early on in the game man i used her to get through like you know early acts man act four act five she's just always she was always on my team because when i started playing this game i was reading the unbelievable Gwenpool, which is honestly one of my favorite comic runs of all time i absolutely love it it's incredible and i just love gwenpool as a character first of all she's super fun to play right and she's also pretty decent you know and back then she was a really really good skill champion you know but i never took her to rank five as a four star because oh my god what if i pull her as a five star well you know time passed and i finally pulled her as a five star she's sitting here at rank four but i never took her to rank five why did i never take her to rank five because oh my god what if i pull her as a six star i believe she's sig 200 she's sig 200 but she never got the rank five when i tell you i have a four to five skill gem literally just sitting there doing nothing collecting dust but still because about two years ago, a year and a half ago, I pulled the six star Gwenpool and she's been unduped ever since. And I've been saying to myself, man, I would really like to get her duped and I would really like to get her up at least to rank two. That would be really cool. I feel like I would finally have that Gwenpool rank up I've wanted in my roster for a long time. Now, here's the thing. Is she top 15 anymore in her class? No, no, she's not. Should you rank up your Gwenpool? Probably not. Not unless you're a fan of the character and have an emotional attachment to her like I do for a couple different reasons, right? But if you like her, she could be actually useful because over the past couple of months at this point, right, in like a turn of the of pain, there were a few times when people would comment like, yo, I used the Gwenpool. She was really good. Or during my streams, people would be like, dude, I use Gwenpool. Try your Gwenpool. And I'm like, oh my God, my six star is unduped. My five star is only rank four. Not gonna cut it. So now in the future, man, for a turn of the of pain type stuff, Gwenpool, I'm going to have at rank three, Awakened, going to be able to reduce that defensive ability accuracy, going to be able to uh, be able to put those bleeds up, do some other fun stuff that she could do. And honestly, I'm pretty excited for her. Now, would it have been more beneficial to rank up Hitmonkey or Korg or Killmonger? 
Yes, but at the end of the day, this is a game and you have to play the game in a way that you are going to have fun. And I think what I'm going to have the most fun with right now is having a six star rank three Gwenpool in my roster. Unless the rank four materials seriously boom as hard as rank threes did, which I don't think they're going to boom that hard. Maybe they will, maybe far in the future. I think Gwenpool will be staying at rank three unless she gets a really nice buff. Does she need a buff more than other champions? I would say no, but hey man, maybe she'll get like a fun synergy or something. I don't really know, but dude, Gwenpool, excited to have her at rank three. I was very, very unexpected to uh, open up that skill nexus and see Gwenpool pop out of there with all those stars, all six of them. Now they're shiny and now she's rank three. And in two days when level up comes on, she's gonna be level 45 and I couldn't be more excited about it. My gold stash is hurting a little bit, 8.1's coming up. We're gonna do some big rank ups after that. My gold stash is hurting a little bit, but we'll figure that out when we get there, man. All right, that's a problem for later. Gwenpool's a problem for today. That's gonna be it for this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. No gameplay in this one. Like I said, she's staying at level one for now. Uh, but that's it for this one. Drop a like, leave a comment about what you think about rank three Gwenpool in the comment section below. And make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any possible Gwenpool gameplay if you wanna see it. I don't know. Do people want to see Gwenpool gameplay? I don't know. I'll be seeing you around, though.